flower essences have become really the center point of my medicine making and consultation practice. I have seen profound changes happen for people in their emotional, spiritual, and physical lives by simply engaging with flower essences. The thing that I love about flower essences the most is how easy it is to make for yourself. My name is Asia Suler of One Willow Apothecaries, and this is my step-by-step -step tutorial to creating your own flower essences. Let's start with the basics. What are flower essences? Physically speaking, flower essences are blooms captured at the height of their peak and floated in water underneath sunlight. So we have those three components, a flower, water, and sunlight. The philosophy of flower essences is predicated on the belief that each flower and each plant has its own special energy or essence or personality, and that when we can come into contact with that energy, we can shift deep patterns within our own being. Flower essences work by helping us to see and release emotional programs. Oftentimes they help us to bring down blockages that might have been preventing us from really seeing, understanding, and expanding the definition of ourselves and our life path. Making flower essences is simple. In fact, when I first started making my own essences, I learned by just looking at tutorials online. At the time, I didn't find any videos, and now I know there's at least a couple out there, but I wanted to make one just for you. The elements that you need to make flower essences are simple. You'll just need a bowl with water, scissors, sunlight, intention, and your flower. When we make a flower essence, we work with a flower that's blooming and growing right now. So not necessarily a cut flower, but one that's growing around you. The first step to making your flower essence is to decide on an essence. And I often find that a particular flower is really attracting me, is really igniting my curiosity. That's always the flower to go with first. Number two is to gather together your bowl, the highest quality water you can find, a pair of scissors, and to go out to your flower. Once there, we get to step number three, and the most important step in my opinion, and that's to ask permission. To sit with this flower and ask this flower permission to harvest its blooms in this medicine. This is a really important moment of making a heart-to-heart -heart connection with this plant. And when you receive permission from a flower, that flower is opening the gateway for all of its healing to be translated into your medicine. You're going to listen for this nod of ascent, and this might come in through a sound, maybe the wind moving through or a bee landing on the flower. Wherever you're at, just really sink into your meditative practice and open to whatever answer is there. You might hear no, and if that's the case, graciously accept that and move on. Most of the time, however, if I've been getting a message to work with a specific essence, the answer will be yes. At this point in time, I often like to give a gift, something that is important or precious to me, just as a way to show this flower and this plant being that I'm here to be in relationship. Step number four is to take your scissors and harvest that flower directly into your bowl of water. Now, I wanna make a note here about scarcity. Some flowers, particularly if they're wildflowers, are endangered. So it's important to do your research and make sure that this isn't an at-risk species. If it's abundant flower, say a garden flower or a weed, then you don't need to worry about it. You can choose one flower, a whole flower head, or several flowers, taking into account the diversity and the amount of flowers in your general area. As always, ask permission with each bloom and get that feeling of yes before you clip them. Step number five is to set your essence out underneath the sunlight. There is a special kind of alchemy that happens between the sun, the water, and the bloom. 
I like to set, let my essence sit for about three to six hours in the full sun. That said, I've also made essences on cloudy days or under the moon. No matter where we are and what time we're in on this planet, the sunlight's always coming into our atmosphere, whether it's through the moon or through the faraway suns of stars. Either way, I want you to follow your intuition, knowing that the traditional practice is full sunlight for a time span of three to six hours. Step number six, when you feel your essence is done, you're gonna take it inside and siphon off that water from the bloom. I like to use a small coffee filter or cheesecloth to get any particulates out, and you're gonna siphon that water into a jar or a bottle and preserve it. You can either preserve it with 50% alcohol, so you'd fill up the jar halfway with your mother essence water and halfway with alcohol, brandy is traditional, or you can do 50% essence water and 50% apple cider vinegar if you're avoiding alcohol. Your apple cider vinegar and water mixture should last at least several months if kept in the fridge. Your alcohol and water mixture can last indefinitely. This is your mother essence, and you can take your essence directly from that bottle. Step number seven, if you choose to, would be to create a stock bottle. A stock bottle is made by simply taking one to seven drops of your mother essence and putting in a separate bottle. You would then fill that bottle with half water and half preservative of your choice, apple cider vinegar or alcohol. What you find in stores often is stock bottles, and part of the philosophy behind this is the more highly dilute the essence is, the smaller it is, the deeper it can go into our deep, deep, deep places that are in need of healing. The philosophy behind taking a stock bottle is similar to homeopathics. When we dilute down our essence one extra step, we're actually making this medicine slightly smaller and therefore more readily available and received to both our emotional and spiritual bodies. So get out there this spring and try making your own flower essences. It is one of my favorite rituals and practices throughout the growing season. And if you're interested in going even deeper with flower essences into formulation, dosaging, acupuncture with essences, on the body treatments, then come join me for Intuitive Plant Medicine. Intuitive Plant Medicine is an online healing journey where we go deep into these practices of working with plants on subtle and energetic levels covering topics from shamanism, dream work, land healing, to flower essences. The course spans eight weeks, starting on May 1st, Beltane, until the summer solstice. Every year this course gathers together such a wonderful community of intuitives and plant enthusiasts, and I would love it if you joined us. You can hop on over to the link underneath this video to check out all the details and I'll see you there.